Hi guys, welcome to eFit30. My name is PJ Wells, I'm from Stretch Yoga Brisbane. We've got two studios, one in the Brisbane CBD and a brand new one where we're filming today here at Holland Park. Today I wanted to talk you guys through just a really relatively short sequence focusing on our solar plexus chakra, so really working through our core. If you're not really familiar with what chakras are, they're energetic consciousness level areas in the body. And our core chakra, our solar plexus chakra, is one that's really intuitive for most of us. So if you've ever felt really nervous or anxious, you've had butterflies in your stomach, that all comes from this area. And it's the area that has to do with us feeling really good about ourselves. It has to do with feeling confident, um, feeling like we've Got a really good sense of self-worth and feeling really confident about where we're going in the future so what we want to do today is just warm up through the spine a little bit we're going to really work on strengthening through our core so we're up really nice and straight and when we've got that beautiful posture we really project that sense of confidence and self-worth into the world uh, and then we're going to do a little bit of back bending so really opening this area up energetically and then a really gorgeous meditation to finish with to start with today, we're just going to make our way into a really nice, comfortable cross-legged position. So it's completely up to you how this one's going to look. It's, you can either cross your legs, take one leg in front of the other. If you're a little bit more open through the hips, you might want to make your way into your half lotus or half padmasana. Whichever option you've picked, really making sure you're up nice and straight. So when we say straight in yoga, what we want is those really gorgeous natural curves of the spine. So it helps to just take your hand back, have a feel. If you notice that you're curving forward, you might just like to give yourself a little bit of extra height. So if you have a block um, or a book, you can just pop that underneath the sitting bones. If you don't have that on hand, maybe just a folded up blanket or rolling up the edge of your mat. Once you've found something that's nice and comfortable, just take a moment to move those fleshy bits away, really ground down through your sitting bones. We're gonna take a nice big inhale, rolling the shoulders up, exhale to release them down. Slight tuck of the chin in towards the chest, ears in line with the shoulders, and just closing down the eyes for a couple of moments and just taking this opportunity just to settle in. And just bring your awareness onto your natural breath. And we just want to allow the outside world just to melt away here. And we're just going to take a couple of nice big inhales, filling the lungs from the base up to the collarbones. And then as we exhale, just releasing all the way back down, just taking two or three like this, nice big inhale. And equal exhale. Inhale, fill the chest. And exhale to release. Good, and then just gently opening up the eyes. I'm just going to take our hands down by our hips. I'm going to start with a couple of rounds of our circle of joy. This is a really gorgeous one just to open up through the shoulders, through the back. So take a nice big inhale, use the breath to float the arms up and over the head, reach with the fingers, maybe gaze to the hands. And as you exhale, just drawing the hands gently down through heart center. We'll interlace our fingers, nice big in inhale, elbows up nice and high. And as you exhale, just start to gently curve forward, chin to chest. Inhale, sweep your arms up and over, relaxing your shoulder blades down your back. Exhale, releasing both hands behind. We'll interlace our fingers again. Take a nice big inhale, press your chest forward. And then as you exhale, start to very gently fold, arms up and over, releasing through the shoulders. Nice big inhale, up to sitting. Exhale, releasing the hands out. I'm gonna take that twice more. So nice, big, deep breath. Maybe gaze to the hands. Exhale, gentle release. Nice big inhale, elbows high. Exhale, pressing forward, curve the upper back. Inhale, arms sweep up and over, relax their shoulders. Exhale, releasing behind. Nice big inhale, press the palms together, chest presses forward. Exhale, arms draw up and over. Nice big inhale, 
back to sitting. Exhale, releasing out. Last time, feel free to close down the eyes if you like. Don't worry if you get the sequence right or wrong. We're just connecting our movement with our breath. Gorgeous flowing movement, just moving the spine. Really filling the lungs all the way up with each breath. And gently releasing those arms out. From here, we're just going to take our left hand onto our right knee, and we're going to make our way into some nice spinal twists. So option one, just taking the fingertips of the right hand just behind. So we're really using our core to keep ourselves up. We're not taking any weight in that hand. Option two, feel free to just take that hand around and bind it to the inside of your thigh. We'll take a nice big inhale here, drawing up nice and tall, lift the chest. And then as you exhale, I'm going to start to twist. So from the navel first, then the chest, just taking the gaze round very last. And just coming back to that nice deep breath. So with each inhale, drawing up a little taller. And each exhale, maybe just spinning a little further around. We'll take one more nice big inhale here. And then as you exhale, just gently releasing back to the front. We're going to keep that left hand where it is. We'll inhale to sweep the right arm up. And then as we exhale, we're going to start to very gently fold. So a really nice stretch through the side of the body. If it feels OK for your neck, you can maybe take your gaze up towards your arm. If not, just taking it down to the ground. And again, with each inhale, really lengthening. And each exhale, maybe folding a little bit further. And we'll take a nice big inhale to draw back up. And as we exhale, we're just going to switch it over to the other side. So again, nice big inhale, finding that length. Exhale, start to twist, navel, chest, then head. If it felt OK on the other side, maybe have a go of taking that bind again. And just a couple of nice deep breaths here again, inhaling to draw tall and exhaling to twist further. And one more nice big inhale, lifting up, exhale, releasing, same side stretch as the other side. We'll inhale that left arm all the way up, and exhale, reaching, maybe gaze to the arm, if not to the ground, nice deep breath. And final inhale, drawing up. We'll exhale to release it down. And then from here, we're going to slowly make our way into our tabletop position. So gently rolling forward, coming onto the hands and knees in the center of our mat. So just take a moment here just to really make sure the joints are stacked. We want shoulders stacked over elbows, stacked over wrists, hips above knees, making sure all the fingers are really nice and spread. So we're pressing down through all the knuckles of the hands. Have a quick look down at the eyes of your elbows. We want them facing in toward each other. So if you find that they're rolling forward, just take a little bit of a micro bend there. We're going to start with a couple of rounds of our cat and lion. So just continuing to warm up through the spine before we make our way into our core work. So nice big inhale to start with. We're going to press the ground away, navel towards the spine, arching like a Halloween cat. And then as we exhale, we're going to drop the stomach down, sitting bones lift and separate, gaze is forward. I want to take three more rounds just like that. So nice big inhale. And exhale, tilt and separate those sitting bones. Really pressing down through the hands, through the feet, and the inhale. And beautiful arch through the back on that exhale. Last one, nice deep breaths. And then just returning to a nice neutral spine. We're going to really check in with our left hand here. So making sure the fingers are spread, knuckles pressing down. And then we're going to inhale our right arm and our left leg all the way out. So a really strong line of energy, reaching with those fingertips. We're dorsiflexing the toes of our left foot. So heel kicks out towards the wall. Option one, just staying here, really working on drawing your navel in towards your spine. This is our Mula Bandha, our energetic lock. 
option two, if it's available to you, maybe have a go of bending through that left foot. We can grab a hold of our foot or our ankle and kick that leg up and away. Nice deep breaths here. And then gently releasing that arm, that leg all the way back out if you took that option. We'll gently release our hand and our knee back to the ground. Take a moment to set up on the other side, so fingers really nice and spread through that right hand, making sure that elbow isn't facing forward. We'll take a nice deep breath, inhaling the left arm and the right leg all the way out. So again, option one, just staying here, really working that navel towards your spine. And option two, if it felt okay on the other side, have a go. Kick that foot up and away. Fix your gaze in front, nice deep breath. And gently releasing that arm, that leg all the way out. We'll gently take it back down onto the mat. And we'll start to take that core work a little bit further here. So really just taking it at your own pace. If after one or two this feels too much, feel free just to drop back into your child's pose. Take a couple of deep breaths and just start again when you're feeling ready. So again, we'll take a nice deep breath this time. Right arm and left leg all the way out. I'm gonna take five rounds of our nose to knee. So nice big inhale, drawing in little ball. And exhale, pressing all the way out. Good, in your own time. Remember, if this is too much, just take a break in between. Two more nice deep breaths when you're doing this. And then gently releasing the hand, releasing the knee. We'll all sink it back for a moment. Taking a child's pose, relax the forehead. Just coming back to that nice deep breath again. And when you're feeling ready, we'll just slowly start to make our way back up. Take a moment to reset those joints. So stacking shoulders over elbows, over wrists. This time we're gonna ground down really nice and firmly through our right hand. We'll take a nice big inhale, left arm and right leg all the way out. And same again, we're gonna aim for five, but just stopping whenever you've had enough. So nice big inhale, nose to knee, really curling in. And exhale, pressing all the way out. Nice big inhale, drawing in. And exhale, kicking out. Three more in your own time. Nice deep belly breath. And last one. And then gently releasing your hand, releasing your knee. Again, we're just gonna sink it back for a moment. Take a few nice deep breaths. And then again, just really nice and slowly, we'll start to make our way back up. We're gonna reset our hands one more time, so really spreading out through the fingers, knuckles pressing down. You might like to try taking your hands just a little bit wider this time, so really making room for your shoulders. We're gonna tuck our toes underneath, take a nice big inhale, start to lift the sitting bones up. We're gonna take a nice deep bend through our knees, because it's probably our first downward dog of the day, and then slowly start to sink your way back. I'm gonna release our shoulder blades down our back and then just have a go at just walking out through the back of the legs. So coming back to the breath, just pulsing those heels up and down. And maybe just give the head a little bit of a shake, yes and no. And if it feels okay, we're gonna try adding in a couple of nice little spinal twists. So right hand first. Maybe seeing if you can grab a hold of your left ankle, gazing underneath your armpit, really working those heels down towards the ground. That hand doesn't quite make it, just taking it to the ground wherever it reaches. And gently releasing that hand out. I'm gonna take the same on the other side. So releasing the left hand, maybe grabbing a hold, really working those sitting bones up and away, nice deep breath. 
and gently releasing that hand all the way back out. We're going to sink our stomach really nice and close to our thighs. Heels come down towards the mat. We'll take one more nice deep breath here. So from here, we're going to take a nice big inhale, just floating the left leg all the way up behind. Dorsiflexing your toes, grounding down through your right heel. And again, I'm going to take a sequence that's a little bit more intense, so just see how you go, dropping down into child's pose whenever you need to. Nice big inhale, we're going to bend through that knee, we're going to shift our weight all the way forward again, nose to knee. And as you exhale, just kick it all the way back. This time across the body, nice big inhale over towards the right elbow. And exhale, kicking back. Inhale towards the left elbow. And exhale, pressing back. Option to take it one more time or take a child's pose. So inhale through the center. Exhale, pressing back. Inhale across the body. Exhale, press it back. Last one, nice big inhale. And exhale all the way up. We'll release the foot, drop the knees, take a child's pose, few deep breaths before we take the same on the other side. And when you're feeling ready, we'll just slowly start to make our way back up. We're going to take the exact same sequence on the other side. So spreading the fingers nice and wide. We'll tuck the toes underneath one more time. Nice big inhale. Sitting bones lift and separate. Heels working their way down towards the mat. Shoulders down the back. Coming back to that nice deep breath once again. We're going to inhale the right leg up this time. Again, dorsiflexing the toes, really grounding down through that left heel. Bending through the knee, nice big inhale, nose to knee. And as you exhale, kick it all the way back out. Nice big inhale across the body. Exhale, pressing back. Inhale towards the right elbow. Good, and exhale, pressing back. So same again. If you want to take the sequence one more time, feel free. I was just taking your child's pose, coming back to your breath. And then gently releasing that foot down. We'll drop the knees, coming back into our child's pose one more time, just finding that nice deep breath again. And then very gently, making our way back up one more time. I'm going to start to cool it down a little bit. So all of the hard work is done now. We've really worked through the core. We're just going to take the legs off to one side, releasing them out in front. And then very gently, start to make your way all the way down onto your spine. So just rolling gently down. So from here, we're just going to take a nice bend through our knees, have a little reach down. So a good rule of thumb is that our middle finger should just graze the back of our heel. We want to make sure our legs stay really nice and firm here. So if you've got a block, feel free to pop it in between your knees. If not, we're just going to imagine that there's a ball there. And as we come through this sequence, we want to keep those legs nice and firm and make sure we're not dropping that ball down. Releasing your hands down by your side. Just make sure your spine's really nice and straight along your mat. We're going to tilt our pubic bone up towards our head, pressing our lower back down into the mat. And then take a nice big inhale. I'm going to start to very gently peel the hips up towards the ceiling. So we're going to come through a few options here. If it gets too much, just coming back to this option. Really working the hips up, squeezing through those knees. Nice deep belly breath. And then as we exhale, just one vertebra at a time, I'm going to gently release the spine all the way down to the mat. Good. And then this time, I'm going to take it a little bit further. So same again, just pressing the lower back firmly down onto the mat. We'll take a nice big inhale, start to gently peel those hips up. And then this time, have a go of just gently rolling the shoulder blades underneath the body. We'll interlace our hands and then just press those hips up a little bit higher, nice and relaxed through the face through the jaw, 
big belly breaths. Keep squeezing those legs in, pressing down through the feet. Good, and then exhaling, gently roll those shoulders out. We'll gently release the spine down, coming all the way back to the mat. Final option here, taking it just a little bit further. Nice big inhale, pressing the lower back down. We'll gently peel the hips up, rolling the shoulder blades underneath, and then this time, just taking the hands underneath the lower back. Good, so keep squeezing those knees in together, nice and relaxed through the face. Option one, staying exactly where you are, or option two, have a go of maybe inhaling one leg all the way up, but exhale to release it back down, and then same on the other side, so nice big inhale, pressing up, good, and exhale, releasing down, and we can just take that a couple of times, remember only if it feels right for you. Good, and then just same again, releasing those shoulders out, one vertebra at a time, gently releasing the spine all the way back down onto the mat. And then from here, we're gonna take the feet a little bit wider, knees coming together. That's gonna naturally press your lower back down onto the ground, and we'll take a couple of nice deep breaths here. And then nice big inhale, knees come up in towards the chest. Give yourself a loving big hug. Take a gentle rock from side to side. We're just releasing any tension from the lower back out. And then knees come in towards the middle. We're gonna release both arms along the ground at shoulder height, palms facing up. Take a nice big inhale at the top here. And then as you exhale, just allow both knees to come over towards the left. And if it feels okay for your gaze, we can take our vision over to that upturned right palm. Nice deep breaths. And then nice big inhale up through the center. We'll exhale, coming over to the right, maybe gaze to the left. Nice deep breaths here. And then one more nice big inhale up through the center. We're gonna take our hands underneath our knees. Gentle rock coming back up to sitting. I'm just gonna finish our class today with a really gorgeous meditation. So it's up to you how you'd like to sit. So maybe coming back into that same cross-legged position as the beginning of the class. You might like to just gently come onto your knees for a moment. So really lengthening up through the spine. So again, just making sure we're up really nice and straight. We've got that nice natural curve through the lower back. We're just gonna rest our hands wherever feels comfortable. Again, maybe rolling the shoulders up and over, relaxing them down the back. Slight tuck of the chin in towards the chest. And just coming back to our breath one more time. And on each inhalation today, we're just gonna really imagine the breath coming all the way down, sitting in that solar plexus chakra, so drawing the breath all the way down, really feeling it fill it up. And as we exhale, gently releasing it out, so really keeping our awareness here. And you might like to maybe imagine the color yellow as you do this, it's the color of our solar plexus chakra, with each inhale breathing in yellow light into the belly. And each exhale, just feeling it soften, feeling the body just open up a little more. And then whenever you're feeling ready, you can just gently open up the eyes. Maybe take a nice big stretch, opening the arms up and over the head, relaxing the shoulders. Hands come down in front of the heart, so taking our Anjali Mudra in front of our chest. We'll take our thumbs up to our forehead, our third eye, for clarity of thought. Take them down to your lips for honesty of speech. And then back down to your heart center for compassion and openness of love. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Again, my name is PJ Wells for eFit30. Hope you have a beautiful day. Namaste.